everybody i'm amanda back here on ozzy the cockatoo's channel ozzy is joining me today because we are going to talk about how to adopt a parrot i would say a cockatoo because i adopted ozzy the cockatoo but i'm just going to say a parrot because a lot of times whenever you go into the adoption process you actually have no idea what parrot you are going to get um so, hi guys hi guys so hi guys Journey, my dog, is in the room, so he's probably going to be talking to him the whole time. Say, good boy, Journey. Say, good boy, Journey. Yeah. Hi. 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 Say, hi. Say, hi. And this is what you get when you adopt a cockatoo. <laughs> you get but I'm not always like this huh? <coughs> This is the real life of owning a parrot, so this is good for you to know. Okay, so let's get back back into it. How to adopt a parrot. The first thing you want to do is do your research and make sure you actually want a parrot as a pet. This is the most important part of the process. Do all of your research, watch uh, YouTube videos, watch uh, educational videos, and go to uh, rescues and adoptions and actually spend time with the parrots. This is going to give you a good indication if you are ready to be a parrot parent because parrots are very hard pets. They're not like your cats and dogs. They're not easy at all. And some of my, and some of my other videos show this a little more. I'm not going to get into that today. I just want to help you if you have done all your research and now you're back here and want to know how to adopt a parrot. So you want to go on Google and you want to put adoptions near me and uh, or parrot adoptions near me. Yeah. Or parrot rescues near me. Are you? So that's my dog bark if you want to know journey okay so journey is wanting to go out of the room so we're gonna let journey out no he's gone he's gone it's okay no you want to go out huh no you want to go out of the room it's okay it's okay okay so so sorry this video was like this but this is a really good thing because i do like to show you the reality of owning a parrot it is not all sweet little ozzy and funny ozzy it um it is a chore so, so as I was saying, go on Google. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Hey, Oz. So, as I was saying, Oz, really? So, he is not one of you like this. <laughs> Oz, come here. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Good boys be good boys. Okay. So go on Google and put in a uh, parrot adoption near me or a uh, parrot rescue near me and those will all pop up. I want to be very clear with you though. You are probably not going to find a rescue within 30 minutes or, or even an hour of you. It is probably going to be a couple of hours, even longer. Some people I know have traveled six, seven, eight hours to adopt their parrot. So I just want you to be very, um, I want some clarity for you. And for you to know that you are probably going to have to travel to adopt your parent. So once you find an adoption agency or rescue that you are very interested in or looks like they would fit your needs, you contact them. Do not just go there. Do not just drive there. Especially with COVID-19 right now, they probably have special hours. Uh, they have, many of them have less volunteers just because of everything going on right now. 
and it's just not normal for anyone right now. Uh, so make sure you call them, tell them you're interested, and they're going to send you an application. When you fill out uh, this application, be completely honest with this rescue. Let them know everything. Answer every question uh, as honest and as best as you know how. Don't just lie because you won't, you know, you want an umbrella cockatoo or a macaw or if your um, household is not ready for that or you live in an apartment or a town home or something like this and you have neighbors that are very close, you really are going to have to think about that because Ozzy, there's no way we could live close to someone with Ozzy. You can hear a cockatoo, uh, I think it's three miles you can hear a cockatoo scream three miles away. And I I believe that because especially whenever he's outside and he screams, I know my mom just lives down the road from us and she'll be like, oh, you must, she'll text me, Ozzy must be outside today. <laughs> we hear him screaming. So it's just not going to be possible for you. So these are just very important things that you need to be completely honest with them so they can match you the best way they know how. And I want to say, if you're going into a parrot adoption, don't just set your mind that you're going to have a certain parrot. We thought we were going to come out with an African Grey and we have an Umbrella Cockatoo. This is our first parrot. So, it's not always what you think. But they go on your application and talking with you on the phone and just getting to know you. So, they know what they're doing. Just uh, be honest with them. I can't stress that enough. And they will match you with a perfect bird. Uh, we were really uh, nervous and everything about being matched with an umbrella cockatoo. But as soon as we met Ozzy, uh, we fell in love. So these people know what they're doing. So don't just get your heart set on one certain bird. Have an open mind in this whole process. Because they will match you with a bird that will fit your home so well. Um, but if you do have issues with your bird, the great thing about a rescue is they're always going to take them back and say, okay, let's start this process over. But I've never heard of anyone having that issue. And I think the reason is they do spend so much time uh, getting to know that bird, getting to know you. They don't want to waste their time and send a bird out the door with a family and have that bird come right back to them and then have to start the process all over. So really trust them and understand what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So, um, this is just going to be a process and I want to get, I can't stress that enough. It's not like, uh, okay, I want to go get a dog at the pet store today or a cat at the pet store or even birds. I mean, you can go to PetSmart now and get birds, but it's not that kind of process whenever you adopt or rescue a parrot. Um, it's going to be months even sometimes. I think we had six weeks in before we actually brought Ozzy home. So I just want you to understand that and have some clarity with this process so you will not get aggravated, frustrated. This is just normal. Um, so it's going to take you some time, but that's okay because it is completely worth it in the end and you learn so much. That's another great thing about adopting. When you adopt, they are actually going to give you free classes or most of the adoptions places and rescues that I know of are going to give you these free classes. You so need this. It teaches you. Um, I had done a year's worth of research and I still was amazed at the stuff that I learned in these classes. It was just stuff that you would never even think of, but it's very important for your parents' health. So this is a great thing that these rescues offer. I really hate it because people that buy from breeders, the breeders could care less. All they want is that money and for you to have that bird and be on your way and they've got that money. They don't care if you know anything about those parrots. They don't care if that parrot lives to see next week and that just aggravates me to no end. But that is what I love about adoptions and rescues for these parrots. You are going to learn so much and they put so much time and effort into um, showing you how to be a great parrot parent. So um, this is just another great thing about adopting and how you're going to go about the process. So you're going to go to these classes and then they're probably going to make you do uh, visits, which is a great thing too because you want to meet that bird. You want to know that you click. That they say the bird chooses you, and I, after meeting Ozzy, it's so funny. I believe that because that bird, 
can sense, you know, how you're feeling, how they go off your emotions, especially umbrella cockatoos. So you'll know if you're a match right away. But, um, so that's part of the process. And then, um, after you meet your bird, we had to actually go to Charlotte three different times. On the third time, we got to bring Ozzy home. Some of these places make you have three to six visits before you can even adopt that parrot, which I completely understand why. They want to make sure, you know, you're suited well for that parrot and everything's going to work out because like I've said earlier in the video, they put so much time and effort into these birds, finding them great homes. So they want to make sure that it is a good match for that bird and for you. So that is a great thing. These are just some important things that I learned through our adoption process with Ozzy. And I hope they help you. And the main thing that I can tell you is just be patient. And um, you will have great success if you go through the process openly, open hearted. And come here. Yeah. Say so yeah. Say so you won't be sorry. But just go through that uh, process open minded and um, just willing to learn is another great thing. And then I want to go over the cost. This is the last thing I'm going to talk about. Just to give you a heads up on the cost, if you do choose to adopt a parrot. You can adopt parrot, adopt parrots for great prices. We adopted Ozzy for $400. Some people purchase these birds for $6,000. So we adopted him for $400. You cannot beat that. And most of the places I've looked into... <laughs> sorry about this, but um, I'm just... So we're trying to get through the video and I want to help you as much as I can. Come here. It's okay. So Ozzy was $400. This is normal for the rescues. Most of the larger birds are going to be $400. And the smaller birds are even less. Some of the smaller birds are $200, $150. It's just depending on the breed of the bird. So that is a great thing. You can save so much money and you're giving a bird a great home and these birds live forever anyway. So, I mean, he could have a good 80 years with you still. So it is a great investment and you're also helping out that bird, which is amazing and what I am all about. So, uh, the $400, but just be mindful that's not all you're going to spend because you're going to have to have a cage for that bird. And to have a good cage, especially for a large bird like Ozzy, I'm going to say you're going to spend seven to $800. And that's just me being real with you. You can spend less, but to me, I would rather buy a great cage like the cage we bought Ozzy and just go ahead and get that out of the way. And that's going to just be saving that money because this is a process and you're, you're probably going to have two months in. So before you even go, just have that money saved up. Um, stimulus money save your stimulus money up and purchase that cage and uh, just go ahead and have that cage set up before you even bring your bird home that will be so helpful for you have toys if i was you what i would do is every time i get get paid i would start purchasing bird toys if i know i'm going to adopt a parrot because their toys are very expensive especially if you want a large parrot i mean some of ozzy's toys are 30 to 50 dollars and they're gone in five to ten minutes. So you really have to think about that. And you can also find some and make your own toys. But I just want to give you a heads up that um, you're going to spend a lot of money on toys. So just be very mindful of that. And go ahead and start purchasing those toys before you even adopt your parent. So all in all, I would say you will probably... Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. No, no. Say so sorry about that once again. But go ahead and have your food purchased. Uh, purchase those great healthy uh, parrot pellets, either Tops or Harrison's. Go ahead and have those. So I would say to adopt a parrot, all in all, a large parrot like Ozzy, go ahead and have you $2,000 saved up. That's just my opinion. That's just to help you all out. So I hope this video was helpful for you. We didn't have too many disturbances uh from Mr. Ozzy say but that's okay we just want you to know what you're getting into with a parrot so that's why I could edit these, these things out but I don't like doing that because I like to be transparent with you on how a living with a cockatoo really is 
So uh, once again, I hope this video has helped you. We thank you for spending uh, some time with us tonight. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I will answer them, make a video about them. I love answering questions, helping you any way I can. If I don't know the answer, I will find the answer for you. If you like this video, let me know down in the comments. If you hate this video, you can let me know in the comments. <laughs> But uh, we just appreciate you all. We thank you, all of our subscribers. We love each and every one of you. And uh, if you like our channel, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, share our videos. And what do we say, Oz? Say we will see you next time. Say bye. Bye.